Hey friends, it's Sarah from She's Crafty and She Knows It and today we're going to make clothespin snowflakes. So I have eight regular size clothespins and then eight smaller little mini clothespins. I will link all the supplies I'm using in the description below this video. Please ignore my fingers. I just did a craft with super glue and got a lot of stuff stuck to my fingers because sometimes super glue is really difficult to work with and I should have worn gloves. Anyways, we're going to pull these clothespins apart. You can kind of just twist uh, the pieces of the clothespins in opposite directions and they'll kind of pop apart. We want to get the springs off of the clothespins in order to use them for this craft. Sometimes they're a little bit difficult, but all in all, you should be able to just pull them apart and have the springs pop off fairly easily. We're going to do that and separate all of them, including the small clothespins as well. Now we will be using a hot glue gun to attach these clothespin pieces together. So go ahead and plug in your hot glue gun so that it is warming up and it will be hot when it's time for you to use it. Okay, so what we're going to do is put flatten to flatten like that, and you can go ahead and set them all up if you want to. So we're gonna hot glue the pieces together like that, flatten to flatten. Make sure obviously you do the regular size clothespins together with its matching parts and not mix and match uh, regular size clothespins with the mini clothespins. But go ahead and glue the flat pieces together on all of them. And this will leave you with eight larger pieces for the larger snowflake and eight smaller little pieces for the smaller snowflakes. It'll make sense once you have them all hot glued together, I promise. Okay, so what you're gonna do is put four of the bigger pieces together where the fat part kind of touches each other in the center and it's gonna kind of form a little cross or an X shape and we're gonna hot glue it together like this in this shape. Later we'll add the other pieces right here on the outside like this, but we're gonna start with these four pieces together. Now, I'm gonna paint mine. You don't have to paint yours later, but since I know I'm gonna paint mine, I don't have to be as careful with the hot glue. It can be a little bit sloppier. Also, the little snowflake is gonna go on top of the center of this one, so this one does not have to be as neat as the mini snowflake will have to be, if that makes sense. So while you're hot gluing this, you wanna make sure that the pieces are really straight um, because however you hot glue it is how it's going to stay. So you might need to kind of hold it together in place. Now obviously be careful with what surface you're hot gluing on. I'm doing this on my craft table and so it's not a big deal if I get a little bit of hot glue on it. But obviously be more careful if you're doing it on your kitchen table or dining room table or whatever. Maybe do it on a paper plate instead. Now we're going to go ahead and add those other four pieces by putting glue on those little outside bumps if that makes sense. Just all in there. You can kind of load it up really on the end and smush it in there. Like I said though it could get hot glue on your table. So be careful or do it on a paper plate or put something down first and then you will have to kind of hold it for a second so that it takes a second to kind of stick together and form and you're going to do this with the other three pieces around the snowflake. Just so that it doesn't stick to the table while you have globs of hot glue on the back, you might want to kind of prop it up on a paper plate just to kind of keep the glue from sticking to anything. Less out of concern for your table and more that if you lay it down and there's globs of hot glue on the back of it, it will also stick to the table. So this way it puts a little bit of space in between the snowflake and um, whatever is below it. So go ahead and continue hot gluing. It already looks so pretty and honestly I think it's beautiful to leave it unpainted and just leave it like this. So the painting part later is totally up to you. Now like I said, if the center of the snowflake is a little bit globby with paint, it's not a big deal because this one will be covered with a mini snowflake on top of it. So don't worry about the hot glue looking a little bit messy. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and start making the little mini snowflake the exact same way. So you're gonna put four pieces together with their centers kind of touching inward and hot glue it exactly how we did the last one. Now since this snowflake will be the one that's on top, you do want to be a little bit neater and more careful with the hot glue and not have globs of hot glue all over the center of the snowflake, especially if you're going to keep it unfinished like this and not paint it. If you paint it, you have a little bit of wiggle room as far as how messy the hot glue can be, but either way, this one needs to be done a little bit more carefully and with minimal hot glue just so that it looks a little bit more crisp and clean. And now that we have both snowflakes finished, we are going to stack them on top of each other. Instead of doing it directly on top like this, I'm going to kind of offset the mini one like that. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty already, right? I think it looks beautiful. We're just going to hot glue the two of them together like this. Honestly, guys, I was planning on painting it, but now that I see how pretty it looks unfinished, I kind of want to leave it unfinished. This will be a hard decision. Comment below and let me know what you would do. Would you leave it unfinished or would you paint it? And if you would paint it, how would you paint it? What color would you paint it? So I'm just gonna hot glue the two of these together. Just put a big old glob on the back of the little mini snowflake. Obviously, if you're gonna leave it unfinished and not paint it, like I said, be more careful with the hot glue uh, so that it doesn't bubble up and come up to the top. But this looks so pretty. 
You also could add a hanger later if you want to. I'm not going to yet, but you could just hot glue some twine to the back or wire or whatever so that you could hang it on the tree or wherever you want to hang it. This looks so pretty. I'm kind of amazed, honestly. <laughs> I'm shocked at how beautiful it actually is. I thought it'd be cool, but it's even cooler than I thought it'd be. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this one so I can kind of show you what I'm thinking as far as the painting goes, but I'll have to make another one and leave it unfinished because I think I want one of each. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spray paint it with some flat white spray paint. Nothing fancy here. I'm gonna spray paint the front and the back. Make sure I get all the little crevices. You know, it'd honestly be really pretty if you spray painted it white and then even sanded it and kind of gave it a little bit of a distressed look. I think there's so many fun ways you could paint this or not paint it or decorate it. It's also a great thing to kind of make and let kiddos decorate. If you have kids in your life, that'd be really fun too. Okay, now that the spray paint is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and paint some matte Mod Podge on my snowflake. So my girls saw the snowflake that I made, they were super excited about it and they wanted it as sparkly and glittery as it could be. So we are going to glitter this snowflake up. So just if you wanna glitter yours up and do something fun like that, go ahead, paint some Mod Podge on the snowflake and then we're just gonna top it with glitter. I still think it'd be fun to paint one white and kind of sand it and distress it and leave some unfinished as well and kind of make a really fun little collection of clothespin snowflake. But for this one with three little girls in the house, they want it totally glittery and sparkly. So here I am putting glitter all over. I'm kind of gonna put like a little bit of dusting of the finer glitter in the center and I think I'm gonna use this chunkier glitter kind of on the outside, if that makes sense of the snowflake to kind of mix it up a little bit but I think it's gonna be fun to have some glittery, sparkly snowflakes around the house. Like I said, I can't wait to see what you do with your snowflakes. Comment below and let me know how you're thinking of making yours, whether it's distressed or just unfinished or sparkly. I'd love to know what you have in mind. And as always, you can send me your pictures and tag me in your pictures on Instagram at She's Crafty and She Knows It so that I can share your creations with the rest of my followers. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Bye.